Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The cancel culture, what is it? When someone does something wrong or they were misunderstood even though they did not do something wrong or they did something we don't like. At times they may have made a mistake or committed a sin or sometimes they may have been exposed. All of these reasons and even more reasons, people come about and want to obliterate these guys, remove them from social media, take them out of existence, never to hear from them again, never allow them to come up again. That's it, cancelled. We don't want you. We don't want you to come up again. We don't want to hear of you. We don't want you to be given a chance to be heard ever again. And you just be careful because we're all out there to mow you to the ground. That's a cancel culture. They cancel people for many reasons. Now, I want to ask you a question. Do you think it's fair to cancel people? My brothers and sisters, it obviously depends what exactly it is, but you need to know giving the person the benefit of the doubt is your religious duty. Religious duty. Another thing, sometimes if a person is repentant, give them the benefit of the doubt to believe that that repentance is genuine. The cancel culture, the difficulty surrounding it is from more than one angle. One is those being cancelled, which we will get to in a moment. But more than that is those doing the cancelling. You're not a saint either. So remember, if you want to say what's right and wrong, do so by all means. If you want to clarify things, do so by all means. If you want to say something, uh, do so by all means. But do not or, or try to avoid hurting someone to the degree where you want to mow them out of existence. Especially when they don't deserve it. Have you given them the benefit of the doubt? Have you thought about it? If your son or your daughter were to make a mistake, is that the end of them completely? When Allah tells you you've committed a major sin, you have the chance to repent and come back and inshallah we'll forgive you and we've prepared paradise for you. Those are verses. Those who have committed immorality, talking about adultery, fornication and so on, or they've wronged themselves with major sin. Allah Almighty says, if they remember Allah and they sought forgiveness for their sin and they don't repeat what they've done or they don't continue in what they were in, then Allah says we will forgive them and those are the people that we have prepared paradise for. Okay, so with us as human beings, sometimes you find people, sometimes popular people, not so popular people, people who have a coping mechanism of lovely, solid people around them and some people don't. They've come up or they're still trying to come up, be they reverts, be they someone else. And, you know, they're known for decent things and so on. One day they go through a challenge, be it a divorce, be it something they might have been exposed for something. Yes, it might be hurtful. Yes, people will gossip, which is haram. People will backbite, which is also haram. People will engage in their lives in a negative way, which is also haram. But... There are some people who respectfully would put across, look, this has happened, this has happened, therefore be careful, my brothers and sisters, look at this and look at that. Does it mean that that particular person is never allowed to come back into any space again? And who decided that? That's something very interesting. So we, that difficulty is a difficulty that's going to be dealt with. We're going to have to deal with it. If you're a person who's cancelled, remember... The world out there is not fair. It's not just. If it was just, what's happening to the Palestinian brothers and sisters would never have happened. That is evidence that the world is filled with the biggest of injustices. And if you're expecting justice, you will not find total justice. That's the nature of the world. It is unjust. There may be pockets of justice here and there. Otherwise, just by witnessing what's going on across the world, you know that it's unfair. If the world was fair, we wouldn't need a day of judgment. But because the world is so unfair, Allah has kept a day of 
ultimate judgment. May Allah make it easy for us on that day. You have to give people a chance. There are people who've sinned and come back very strong. No one knew about their sins. Just because you found out about the sin doesn't make, doesn't make them people who are no longer allowed to live. No. Imagine your, your son or your daughter happened to make a mistake, do something wrong, and suddenly no one wants to allow them into the masjid. No one wants to allow them anywhere near. They can't talk to the scholars. They're not allowed to seek help. They're not, they must just die. Why? But that's what we're doing to some people. As a father and a person who cares, inshallah, for the ummah, I always see people who are struggling. Try to reach out to them and talk to them. What's going on? Come, let me help you. Let's see how best we can assist in this thing and that thing. And others would probably get a shock. What are you doing talking to this person? Well, why not? As a father, if that was my child or that was my sibling, surely I would care for them. So we need to have greater maturity in this. Otherwise, we're heading in the wrong direction. Yes, to warn people of the harms of something is one thing. But to, to really rip through someone completely to the end, where just because of a sin they committed, which, is, which was major, but they repented clearly. If they haven't and they're promoting the sin and so on, it's different. You can't let people know, look, watch out for this. But if it's not, what do you do? Similarly, on the other hand, if you're a victim, like I said, remember the world is not just, number one. Number two, don't expect people to support you. You have to turn to Allah. You have to make the most of whatever there is. You might have to lay low a little bit. You might, you might find pockets of people who may help. You might find people trying to take advantage of you. You might find people who would really hate you. People who don't even know you would really hate you because they do not know any better. I mean, if the best of the best, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had people who didn't like him. They went to war with him. They did nasty things to him. Who are you and I? We are nobodies. May Allah Almighty guide us to the straight path. So, at times, what happens is people lose focus. You're a believer. You're supposed to be worried about others. If a person came to the masjid and urinated at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Sahaba almost cancelled him. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, no, don't, don't cancel him. Meaning, don't even talk to him this way. La tazmuruhu. Yani don't uh, admonish him in this way. But rather, he spoke to him with love. He corrected him. He gave him a chance. And this man says, oh, I understand. And I'm sorry. And I won't do this again. Oh, Allah, have mercy on me and Muhammad, peace be upon him. Don't have mercy on these others. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, corrected him again to say, you can't say that because the mercy of Allah encompasses everyone. In fact, the same words, the mercy of Allah encompasses everyone. It's very broad and encompassing. Would actually fit to describe those at times whom we're trying to cancel. May Allah Almighty help us. The social media is not an easy place. Social media, to navigate through social media is very difficult. As you grow in popularity, you will face a lot of weird people saying a lot of weird things. It's okay. Take it in your stride. Lay low perhaps. Or if you're strong enough, keep going. Allah Almighty will grant you that success. Don't worry. The days are difficult. But with the help of Allah, He grants you successes through those difficulties and challenges. And He still gives you more than you can imagine. May Allah bless you all and protect us all. Protect us from being those who cancel others and from being the ones who are cancelled. May Allah safeguard us from shaitan and help us to turn back to him always. I mean, turn back to Allah.